Okay. Now, in this topic, how you are going to process it and determine it? Okay. For example, whatever should be there in the value A, B, C, and D, this one should be in the form of this times this. That means A, D minus B, C. So, B, C. Okay. So this is a very important part that you have to maintain when it's a two by two matrix. For example, for example, suppose you are going to find two by two matrix. I'm taking an example. Okay, so the matrix is two, three, four, and zero. Okay. Now you're going to oh. find the determinant. to find the determinant what you have to do first you have to write this value like 2 3 4 and 0 in a form of within a bar okay then as for the formula as for the formula of ad minus bc if i multiply 2 times 0 minus 4 times 3 so i'm getting 2 minus 12 that means minus 10 another example Suppose I have some negative values in the determinant. Suppose minus 2, 1, minus uh, 3, minus 4. Okay, just some minus values are there. The same thing will be applied over here. Minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, minus 4. Then cross multiply. So it will have a happening. Minus 2 times minus 8, minus 4 is 8, positive 8, minus, because AD minus BC. BC is 3 times 1 is 3, minus, minus, plus, and with the minus, it will be minus. So, we are going to get 8 minus 3 means 5. Okay? This is 2 by 2 matrix. So, this is applicable for 2 by 2. Yeah. Okay, now we are going to show you, I'm going to show you, if there is a 3 by 3 matrix, what to do? 3 by 3 matrix, suppose A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. Okay, suppose this is there. If this type of things are there, how are you going to solve it? First is, you have to take plus first value that means a okay now if you just think that if i just omit this line a and because i'm choosing a so these things you are going not going to consider so what is hap going to happen what are the remaining values remaining values are e f h i right so determinant of 2 by 2 minus second value b now the same way we are going to apply that if I am going to cross row and column, what are the remaining value? D, F, G, I. Okay. So D, F, G, I. Now the third one, plus. What is the third value here? C. C determinant. Okay. Now, now the first C case also same row and column wise if you are going to omit it what is remaining d e g h so d e g h now you have to take it as a multiplication form a times e i e i minus h f minus b times d i minus g f plus C times DH minus EG. Okay. So this has become now your formula. This has become your formula. Now take an example. Let's let's take an example. The example is suppose I am taking the values 2, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 
two, three, four. Okay, this is the value that we do. So first, as per formula, what you have to do first value. First value means two. Yeah. If I, um, if I consider two, then uh, as for the formula, as for the formula section, you can see over here, EI that means zero times four is zero minus HF that means two times three is six minus B. B means zero. Now DI, DI means four times one is four minus GF means four, two times two is four plus C, C means one. Okay, then one times three is three minus two times zero is zero. So ultimately you're going to get two times negative six is negative 12. Zero times anything is zero. And one times three is three. So minus 12 plus three will be minus nine. Okay. So if you're going to find the determinant of this, this is determinant sign. Okay. So symbol always a bar. Okay. We are going to represent the matrix within a bar. So this is called determinant. Am I clear? Yeah. Okay, very good. So what you are going to do next, another example you're going to take. Suppose uh, if it's a negative value. Now I have shared everything as a positive value. Suppose it's a negative value. How are you going to solve it? Mm, suppose it is minus one, two, minus three, uh, one, three, one, two, minus one, and uh, okay, this is how you're going to solve this. How are you going to find the determinant of determinant of uh, this matrix? That you have have minus one over here, minus one. So you have to take minus one first. Then whatever is remaining, like three times four is twelve. Minus one minus one is negative one, so it is become plus one. Second value is now minus of two because it's a format. You put two plus, then minus, then plus. Okay, this is the format. Okay, so minus two times you are going to take the next value that is one times four, four minus two. Okay, then consider the value that is three, which is there already, and positive will make a negative. Okay, now if you consider this, then minus one minus one will be minus and three into b minus okay so be your consideration of calculation minus 13 and this one will be two times two will be four minus times spread 21 so altogether it will come minus in check it this is minus 17 plus 21 that means your determinant will come as four. Okay, so let's let me give you some question. 